개념부터 철저히 이해하면서 조금씩 다음 단계로 넘어가는 점프 수학은 초등학교 1학년부터 8학년까지의 아이들을 위한 프로그램이다. 어릴 때 수학의 기본을 잘 닦아 놓아야 고등학교나 대학에 가서도 수학을 잘할 수 있다는 것. 점프 수학을 창안한 사람은 원래 수학 부진하였다. 대학 재학 시 여러 번 낙지할 위기를 겪기도 했다. 하지만 30대가 돼서야 수학 공부하는 법을 터득한 그는 뒤늦게 수학자가 됐고 자신이 공부한 방법을 토대로 점프 수학을 만들었다. 그가 바로 존 마이튼 박사다. 점프 수학은 10년 전 수학을 보다 쉽게 가르치려는 교사들을 지원하기 위한 자선 프로그램으로 시작됐다. 지금은 캐나다뿐만 아니라 영국에서도 이 프로그램을 도입, 수학을 어려워하는 많은 아이들에게 자신감을 주고 있다. Research and psychology is showing that that uh, we're easily overwhelmed by too much information. If you, if you if a person, even a very smart person, has too much information, they they can't remember or do anything. So one of the goals of the books is to break mathematics into into chunks that kids can handle and learn well. 점프 수학 자체가 기존에 없던 새로운 것은 아니다. 다만. 쉽고 재미있게 접근할 수 있는 방법을 통해 수학이 결코 어려운 과목이 아니라는 걸 아이들이 스스로 경험할 수 있게 하는 것. 이런 과정은 수학에 새로운 흥미를 느끼게 해 저절로 공부하는 법을 터득할 수 있도록 도와준다. What are the things we do wrong? First, the first biggest thing we do wrong is that at an early age, we get kids to think that there are some fast kids and some slow kids. We, we make kids think, many kids think that they're not good at the subject very early on. So in a jump classroom, we we do everything we can to make every kid feel like they're smart and successful. Own, extend their own. So we teach them how to keep. 어렵게 느껴지는 과목일수록 제대로 이해하고 공부하는 법을 터득해야 어떤 문제가 닥치더라도 흔들리지 않는 법이다. If a student is struggling, first don't give up hope. We have a lot of evidence that kids can catch up very very quickly. Get help. Get some tutoring or a book that you can work through that makes sense to you. Um, ask your parents for help and put a bit of extra work in. Know that it'll pay off and and try as much as possible to learn your basic facts like your times tables, basic operations like addition, subtraction, and so on. The better you know those, the more you'll be able to think and free up any mental space to think. Um, if you're struggling to remember your facts, then you you can't solve problems as well. My advice would be to the, the the people who, the adults, who are charged with teaching these children, because as I said, if the children are struggling, um, and as John says, it's the teacher's fault. So it's a revolution I'm asking for, really, this revolution to say, first of all, stop believing the child that some children simply can't do it. They need. Um, Dynamic teaching. They need good guidance. They need teachers who are knowledgeable, um, and they need persistence. They need someone who is, above all, though, going to give them the confidence they need. See, the confidence is the is the key. You can see the confidence when you are panicked, worried, or afraid, have any anxiety at all. A block comes down in you. You see it in children where they just are shut down. Your brain cannot work in those situations. If you have security around you, someone who believes in you, you know, a gentle tone, and and you're told over and over again. One of the children said it. You can do it. You're good at it. I believe in you. You can do this. And they've had the support they need. Then they begin to believe it. When you believe it. It's suddenly so, and what we're seeing here is a lot of transfer. The better these children are doing in mathematics, the better they're doing in everything. 
어떤 과목이든 공부에 특별한 왕도는 없다. 당장 성적이 나오지 않는다고 닥달하기보다는 아이들을 믿고 잘할 수 있다는 자신감을 키워주는 일. 정답을 가르치기보다는 스스로 답을 찾아 나가도록 길라잡이가 되어주는 것. 학습장의 아들을 수학 영재로 키운 점프 수학의 비결은 답이 아니라 그 과정에 있었다. 